What's going on, everybody? Brandon here, back with another action figure review. Super exciting in front of us with no confirmed date, and then all of a sudden, Amazon dropped this off at my doorstep. A very small package. The Joker, Nightwing, Batman, and Robin. This is the all-new four-pack based on their future state appearances. This is really exciting, you guys. The UPC is right there if you need it. Uh, we are going to get this out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stick around afterwards. I did find some new Spin Master villains. We're going to unbox those and see what accessories they come with. All right, let's get this four pack out of the packaging and take a closer look. So usually with Amazon, they will display their figures in the packaging. That's not the case with this one. Um, everything is bagged up and there's a little board in front of it. So no display, sadly. All right, you guys, we got our figures out of the packaging. They look fantastic. Let's dive on in and take a closer look. First up, taking a look at the Dark Detective Batman. Future State Batman, for sure. I know a lot of people think that this is the Nightmare Batman from uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League or from BVS, the Nightmare Scenes. Uh, it very well could be. Um, I definitely see remnants and pieces of that. And of course, that costume really kind of came out before the Dark Detective stuff in Future State. So both are probably playing on each other for sure. The idea of Batman in a Gambit style trench coat is just really cool and definitely very tactical. They've definitely put a lot of thought and detail into this figure. I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can. It looks 10 times better in person compared to on the camera. There's even some like texturing and detail going on inside uh, right here. And it looks like, you know, worn out leather. So that is really cool. The whole thing is just top notch. Did we want this? No, but now that I have it in hand, uh, it looks really good, and I'm assuming these forearms are reused from the other Batman that we get without the trench coat, who also has the short sleeves, but overall, looks really good. Um, there is a grapple gun here, and it is molded on. It doesn't come off. I kind of think that's a little weird, because they also gave us the grapple gun, but then if he uses this, but he also has that, it's kind of like he's got both at the same time, so not sure how I feel about that. For Batman's articulation, he's got movement in his head, side to side, super tight um, with this bandana looking thing. I really don't want to force it uh, on my copy, but it is very tight. Um, his arms come out about that far. Forward and back, full 360. There is a bend and twist the elbow. Nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist. Legs should come out. Let me try the other side without the grapple. Let's see, maybe if I do it like that. Wow, these legs really don't wanna come out. Okay, so that's me forcing it as much as I can. Um, that's as far out as it goes. There's a cut at the hip, and then it does go forward nice and easy. It doesn't really go back. And there's a bend and a twist at the knee. And that's about it for our Dark Detective Batman. He does come with a couple of accessories. He has this grapple gun right here, which does fit in very nicely. It's one solid color, but thankfully it's a metallic silver and can just be widely accepted. So I am happy about that. And then the second accessory he comes with, similar to what we got with the 12 inch Batman that you can add his armor on. And we got two of those. I'm trying to put this in his hand now. I'm not sure how to do it. Maybe like this. Man, I don't know, this is tough. Okay, there we go. So there he is, he's got his drone and he's got his grapple. Uh, I will say this is a very difficult Batman to stand up um, depending on what you do and how you do it. Um, and mine, I think the legs are just a little bit warped from the packaging. There we go, <laughs> voila. A very cool looking Batman for sure. One that I'm very excited and happy to have in the collection. Next, taking a look at Future State Nightwing, a very cool looking figure. Uh, this guy looks fantastic. I really like the presentation of this. Uh, and this is definitely the exact same thing we got in the 12 inch scale. So this is the shrunken down version of 
this Nightwing sculpt. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten the 12-inch Batman yet with the trench coats, so that effect has not settled in on me yet. But man, this 4-inch sculpt is just as cool as the 12-inch one, and I will try to get in there and show you all those details. But man, this is one killer sculpt. Um, they absolutely knocked it out of the park, and they did not pull any punches with this. Uh, it is just very well done. Of course, the paint apps, the deco is lacking in several areas, um, but that can't be helped with toys at this price point. Uh, so I'm very happy that it is what it is and that we have it. Um, these triangles up here on his shoulder pads should be painted black. The majority of what you see on his gloves and on his legs should all be black with some blue accents for the armor. Um, I'm hoping that we get a repaint of this somewhere later down the line uh, with more black instead of blue. And if the blue would be like metallic or shiny, that would just be killer. So yeah, those are my hopes for the future. Haha, <laughs> future state, just kidding, uh, of this figure. So anyways, really good. Really happy to have this one. Absolutely worth it. Uh, let's go over his articulation, movement in the head, side to side. Pretty good. Can't look up or down very much. Uh, arm does have a full 360 at the shoulder and comes out about that far. There is a bend and a twist at the elbow. Nothing at the waist. His hips come out about that far for the legs forward. Don't really go back. There is a cut right here at the hip as well. And it looks like our dark detective just took a nap in the background. Don't mind him. He got lazy. He's got a bend and a twist at the knee. And that's about it for Nightwing. Super cool looking figure. And he comes with his Eskrima sticks. So that is a major plus. Um, I think when the original Nightwings came out, they had these weird like gloves attached to them so that we kids wouldn't lose these tiny sticks, but finally we got it and it just looks so good. That is awesome. We also get a really cool, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe a bird orang, but it is of his Nightwing emblem that is also on his chest. So that works as well very nicely. And all in all, just a super cool figure. This has got to be my new favorite Spin Master figure in the 4-inch and 12-inch scale. Well done. Next up, taking a look at Future State Robin. This guy looks incredible. Um, I, for some reason, like this even more than his 12-inch counterpart. and I just couldn't tell you why. I think it's such a sophisticated sculpt and there's so much detailing going on here. And I think I just really appreciate it more, maybe on that four inch scale, I think on the 12 inch scale, um, you know, there's more room there to admire the work and more area that looks plain uh, just because it's bigger. Um, but here like this, it looks like it's very tight packed and it just looks like the sculpt work has a lot of detail an extra design on it. And even though this is my third time looking at the same sculpt from the other two 12 inch figures, it still looks really good in my opinion. And this is Tim Drake's Robin. So that is very nice. Um, all in all, a really cool looking figure for Robin's articulation. Moving in the head side to side. Can he look up or down? Nope, not really at all. Uh, arms come out about that far. Forward and back, full 360. Bend. Oh, that's difficult. There we go. And twist at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Legs come out about that far forward. They don't go back. There's a cut at the hip and a bend and twist at the knee. And that's about it for our Robin figure. He also comes with some really cool accessories. The 90s Robin is the Robin who introduced us to the bow staff as a main weapon choice. And Robin of all kinds has had it ever since. So very cool to see Tim Drake with his bow staff. And then we also get a grapple gun of some kind with um, what looks like a more Robin-esque type ending to that grapple. So that looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of 1997 Batman and Robin. Uh, but yeah, a very cool looking figure. Uh, single carded for sure. He's a definite pickup. 
Uh, and I'm happy to get him with this set. He looks fantastic. Next up, the Joker, a very interesting choice. Virtually the same costume that we have been getting all this time. Uh, redone, though, uh, it looks like there's definitely a lot more detail this time around, and he's a lot more scrawny compared to the previous sculpt. So very interesting to see. Uh, my thoughts kind of lead me towards, well, where was Spin Master going with this? And was this based off a specific comic run? Kind of like the other figures that came in this four pack. And the only thing that really comes to mind for me, maybe, is Joker War. Um, it was a story that span across many issues uh, and included punchlines. So let me know your thoughts in the comments if you think this Joker might be from DC's Joker War. Or if he's from maybe something else. Or maybe he's just a regular Joker. 1950s. 60s classic looking joker definitely dark around the eyes i'm going to see if i can get in there closer so you can see that very interesting uh but overall the presentation of this figure is very nice and i really do like it a lot and um overall just a really nice companion piece to the rest of the four pack would i get him on his own honestly i don't know We've gotten so many Jokers at this point. Yes, it's a new sculpt, but um, he's not my favorite villain per se. I also do have the 12-inch version of this Joker as well, so that'll be interesting to compare later. But yeah, just with all the Jokers that we've gotten so far as a single release, I, I may pass on him. Uh, but very nice to have him in this set, so I, I'm appreciative of that for sure. So we see not too much articulation in his neck side to side, but... Uh, very difficult, and I really don't want to push mine. For the shoulders, only comes out about that far because of the shoulder pad. I think we saw similarly with the 12-inch scale as well. Uh, full rotation, though, and a bend and twist at the elbow. And then for the legs, they come forward pretty good, so he can definitely do some kicking. Um, they come out about that far, so that is fantastic. There is a cut at the hip, which is great. And we have a bend and twist at the knee. So all in all, not too bad for our Joker figure. He does come with some accessories as well. Uh, very interesting. It looks like brass knuckles. Um, I really couldn't tell you why they'd include such a weapon with a kid's toy. Um, I kind of think that one's a little bit more on the adult side. But, you know, to each their own. I, I think that's what it is. Maybe it's a different accessory. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what you think. Maybe it is something else completely. Uh, but yeah, that to me looks like brass knuckles. And then this is like a canister where he can spray his laughing gas. Uh, it almost looks like a microphone and there's a tongue that's clearly sticking out of it. <laughs> but yeah, to me that looks like a, a laughing gas gun. Uh, very similar to what we got with the 12-inch scale. That one just looks a little bit different. But yeah, overall, our Joker figure, not too bad at all, and one that I'm very happy to have in the collection. First up for a Batman size comparison, here he is with all of his previous counterparts, and boy, has it been a wild ride from Spin Master. Uh, I never would have imagined that we get these many Batmans, so many incarnations, um, it is definitely a lot, but overall I am thankful for it. It's a multiverse of Batman for sure. Most notably, I was curious about these two Batmans, both Future State style. Um, it looks like they are both completely different sculpts head to toe. I thought for sure maybe the forearms, the gauntlets were the same, but no. Like this one has two lines and that one has three, so definitely different. Uh, thought maybe the cowls were the same. Nope, the ears on that one are sticking out, uh, whereas the Dark Detectives are not. Um, and so all in all, if you look at this piece by piece, they really are two completely different figures, completely different sculpt through and through. So very interesting. I definitely wanted to capture this comparison. This is the McFarlane Dark Detective Batman figure from Future State. And here he is with a couple of Spin Master Batmans. And I feel like this uh, whole design comes from or is derived from Dark Detective. And so we'll see a lot of similarities with that. Uh, Batman's belt, for example, definitely falls underneath the Batman with the cape. Um, Batman's shoulder pads and most of the jacket, the design, 
um, the area around the neck, the gloves, the sleeveless area, the pants, look at those boots. All of this looks very much like Dark Detective, so it's really hard to ignore these signs. It's definitely a nightmare looking Batman. And again, like I said, Nightmare was done first. It looks like they're just trying to keep that rebirth emblem, uh, but implement the Dark Detective look. So very interesting overall. Um, very nice to see these guys together and on the shelf. If you're a Future State or Dark Detective fan, this is awesome. This is incredible. You're getting this Batman in various sculpts and in various lines. So it's pretty cool. Next up for a size comparison with our new Robin, new Nightwing, and our new Joker. Here they are with some of their previous counterparts, and what I found here is very interesting. Like looking at the two Damian Wayne Robins and the previous Nightwing next to the current ones, it's almost like, and even Joker, it's like they don't even fit in with their own scale. Like they don't fit in with their previous Spoon Master figures. Um, the scaling is just a little bit smaller and a lot more detailed. And so with that, it just looks like the older figures are a little bit more bigger or stocky or like they just don't fit in. Uh, so be wary of that if you're collecting these on the shelf um, and you're a collector, that's something to be mindful of. If you're a kid just having fun, then these all fit in and they will look great together. Um, if you're a parent buying these for your kids, there's you know not going to be any notice. They're always the same size and same scale. So they definitely look good. But from a collector's eye, these definitely feel like they could be a different line altogether. Next, with some other Bat Family figures, just comparing these guys overall, uh, they do fit in nicely, some better than others. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, and I'll kind of just pan across, and you can let me know what you think down in the comments below. Croc is new, um, Red Hood is newer, but not that new, so to me he still looks a little bit big. Um, Batgirl and Batwoman actually look like they fit in fairly decently, so that is a huge plus. Um, Riddler next to that Batman, they just look like they're from completely different toy lines. Uh, but yeah, all in all, not too bad. I am very happy to have these new ones in the collection. Um, it kind of makes me hope and wish that we get more of these now, and a lot of them soon, and then that way these guys will be able to all fit in a little bit better. I really want a new Red Hood. Um, that would be great. And at this point, a new Freeze, a new Riddler, and a new Bane would definitely be needed. But yeah, overall, they look great. And here's a look at our new 4-inch scale figures with their 12-inch counterparts. These guys look really good. Uh, it's almost one for one, exactly the same sculpt for the most part. Uh, of course, I don't have the new uh, Future State Batman yet. As far as I know, he's not released uh, but there will be a 12-inch version with a brown trench coat as well. Um, overall, these guys look fantastic. I'll say Nightwing and Robin look very much like their 12-inch counterparts, um, almost down to a T. Joker does have some differences. The face sculpt, I feel like, looks a little bit different, especially with the eyes. Um, but overall, it is the same for the most part. The flowers painted on the 4-inch one. Uh, and not on the 12-inch one, so there's that. The Batman drones are completely different, 100% uh, different sculpts. And of course, the Batman figures are completely different themselves, uh, but they still have that Rebirth-style bat emblem, and it kind of makes me wonder, will we ever get away from the Rebirth emblem, or will it continue on forward? So that will be interesting for sure. But overall, these guys look fantastic. All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. Some new single card releases. Let's get these guys open and see what accessories we get. First up, Slade. Let's check it out. I think it's the original release for Slade. Wow, okay, this is really interesting. A translucent gun. Wow, check that out. Very cool. Wow. We also get a couple swords. Let's see. And these swords are also translucent. He wouldn't be Deathstroke without a sword. So I'm glad we get a couple of those. And it looks like a character-specific gun, perhaps. A grenade launcher. That is really cool. Wow. Next, Reverse Flash. Super excited for this one and his metallic paint finish. Let's check it out. All right. Number one. Cool. We 
get a nice red cyclone that actually looks really cool and it is metallic colored so that's awesome next number two ooh, some red armor that is awesome very cool i like that a lot actually and number three let's check it out what do we have it looks like some red lightning all in all very cool for reverse flash i think that looks sick and last but not least the joker let's see what we got all right wow we have a <laughs> clear briefcase that should be stuffed with money. Definitely clear. That is interesting. We have a boxing glove uh, attached to a mechanism that goes on Joker's wrist. It's also a clear translucent color. And we have the slapfish. Very nice. I really like this one a lot. Very cool. Just a quick look at these guys with their accessories. They look fantastic, especially that reverse flash. Absolutely incredible. All in all, very fun single packs. I really like these. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching the Amazon exclusive four pack Robin and Nightwing, Batman and the Joker. You can get yours for 30 bucks. A very cool piece and one that I'm so excited and happy to have in the collection. When the single card figures will hit at the store shelves, I'm not sure, but I'm really glad we were able to get this set ahead of time and that it included all the accessories. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on this piece, what you're finding online and in your local areas. I would love to hear from you. You guys, the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all of the support on the channel has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, each and every one of you. As I find more new, cool, and awesome stuff, I'll be sure to bring it to you here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.